I finally broke down and bought myself a plasma TV. <laughs> Check it out. I actually hung this on the wall myself. It's good. I want to show you something. A lot of people in the room, you need more space. Voila, right into the wall. Wow. Sometimes I will just stand here and watch television for hours. I love it. I love this TV. Oh, and I also built this table. What is that, chestnut? No, I think that is either pine or Nordic cherry. It's pine. Are we ready to sign some papers? Actually, no. We have a couple of questions uh, oh. about the neighborhood. It's, it's very safe. It's very clean. Uh, also, it's very accepting of all lifestyles. It's a very gay-friendly neighborhood. Oh, good. That's good. Yeah. It's good to be accommodating of, of that. Let's go check out the master bedroom. This, my friends, is the master bedroom. Check out the cathedral ceilings. Those are like 17 feet high. We have cable readiness right there. I'm going to totally pimp this place out. I'm going to put a surround sound system. I'm going to put a plasma screen right against this Ooh, wall. Oh, terrible I'm putting idea. my bed right over no, here. No, 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 no. This is a shared wall. <sighs> Neighbor throws his wife into the wall. Plasma screen hits the floor, totally smashed. Well, then I will get a warranty. Warranties don't cover it. Plus, they're a ripoff. Well, then I won't get a warranty. Oh, so that's the problem is solved. What? Listen, listen. Can you hear that? Oh, man. These babies are thin. So this is the master bedroom. And uh, these walls, they used to be like white, like an asylum. So I wanted it to be softer. So I had it painted in eggshell white. Guess what? White and eggshell white are exactly the same oh. color. <laughs> hey, exactly. I thought you said that you were going to tidy things up. Well, I... Shame on you. <laughs> what a cute bench. Thanks. That's my bed. Jen mm. has uh, some space issues, so I curl hey. up on that puppy. Really? Because it seems pretty narrow and yeah. short. It's actually a lot bigger than it seems. Look at this. Ah. See? He fits perfectly. <laughs> So, what do you say we get started? After breakfast. I'm full. So, how are you feeling about the new company? I feel good. Wow. You excited about the new company? Yeah, I'm excited to start the company. After breakfast. We did that. So, what's next? Michael, just stop for a second. Michael, stop for a no, second. No, I'm whipping him. No, just I know you are. Just let, let me oh, have... Oh, just give me... Fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do this. This is pathetic, isn't it? I am such an idiot. I gave up the only job I ever loved to do this. I have egg in my Crocs. I feel weak today. I felt much stronger yesterday. Like Benjamin Button in reverse. You know, Michael, when I feel overwhelmed... I'm not overwhelmed, Pam. I know. No, I'm saying that when I feel overwhelmed, something I like to do is make a list. Make a list of things to do, and then start with the easy stuff. Whatever calms you down. Okay, first, work out. And hey, look, you did that. <sighs> Check. <sighs> Eat an enormous breakfast. Check. Don't patronize me, Pam. And then I just need you to sign here at this era. What kind of mortgage did you get? Uh, 10 year. Well, 10 over 30, so 30 year total. What? What? You said 10. 10 year fixed, over 30, 30 year total. Oh, 30 years. Okay, okay. Wow, you'll be paying this off in your mid-70s. All right. <laughs> Forget about retiring when you're 65. Hey, I've got an idea. You know that extra bedroom? If the whole girlfriend thing never happens, that's where the nurse can live. Okay, all right. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is it. Uh, uh, Whenever you're ready. Yeah. Um. Oh. oh, okay. Is that supposed to come off? Hey, look, cool. Actually, yeah. Carpenter ants. Um, I'm gonna take a little uh, breather for a second. Right. Excuse me. It'll be here waiting for you. Oh, man. A 30-year mortgage at Michael's age essentially means that he's buying a coffin. If I were buying my coffin, 
I would get one with thicker walls so you couldn't hear the other dead people. Whenever you're ready, Michael. Oh. I'm so, so sorry for the temperature in here. The um, sliding glass door shattered. So. Okay. It's actually a really cute story. Do you want to tell it, babe, or should I tell it? I don't like that story, babe. Come on, it's a cute story. Michael ran through the sliding glass door because he thought he heard the ice cream truck. <laughs> Stop! Stop it! I mean, I like ice cream, okay? Sue me. Oh, ha no, don't. I shouldn't say that jokingly because she will sue me. She <laughs> loves to sue. She loves lawsuits. You know, honey, that door was extremely clean and it looked invisible. You are so right, you are so right because before I lived here, the glass was always covered in smudges. Ah. And then I moved in and I cleaned it, so I guess that makes me the devil. Oh. <laughs> you are, ah. she is, she ah. is the devil. Ah. I'm in hell. Ah. I'm burning, help me. You help shouldn't me. jump about that. The ceilings are lower than they were last week. That, I don't, I don't know if you showed me what? this same unit or not. And Michael, where, this is the unit Where you saw are and... all the hot people? I was told that there would be all these attractive singles. Who and as far as I can tell, I'm the best looking person here. There's a basic principle in real estate that you should never be the best looking person in the development. It's sort of common sense because if you are, then you have no place to go but down. Is this a financial thing? If it's a financial thing, what some people do is they rent out the third bedroom. No, and that's no, some extra no, 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 no. I am not you. going to rent the third bedroom. I want a price reduction or I am a walking. You will lose $7,000 if you walk away right now. I made the right decision. I'm glad I signed. I'm a homeowner, right? Good to be a homeowner. Diversify mine. This is good. This is fun. We're having fun. Totally having fun. Can you imagine those poor saps stuck at the office today? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. Everybody enjoying their meal? Hey, babe. Yeah? How about we take the beer sign down until our guests leave, and then we can discuss it? No. No. I'm going to leave it up. I think it ties the whole room together. OK. Jack thinks Hunter's very talented. You know what? I don't think he's that good. At least he's an artist. BFD. I'm a screenwriter. And I'm a candle maker, but you don't hear me bragging about it. No, all you do is you get me to try to work on my rich friends. For an investment opportunity. Man, I would love to burn your candles. You burn it, you buy it. Oh, good. I'll be your first customer. But you're hardly my first. That's what she said.